Pokemon yell about these Ashes team. I tried to get Eevee, but Gary said fuck you, so I got Pikachu instead. Alright, speaking of Gary, time to kick his ass for stealing Eevee. After a couple thunder shocks, his Eevee went down, even though he could have took me out easily. It's weird, but hey. I'll take an easy one. Next up, I catch a Caterpie. Which is pretty easy to find. And next up, I also catch the Pidge a Pidgeotto. Which was harder to find. 1% look my ass. Alright, time to face Brock. He sends out a Geodude first. I use Butterfree to confuse it down. And he goes to, it goes down eventually. So next up's Onyx. And same thing beheld it. I just confused it, so it went down. Taking advantage of Brock's low special defense Pokemon. Next up is Jesse and James. They lead off with Ekans, so I use Thundershock to take it out. Two Thundershocks to take it out as Ekans leers me. Next up is their, is their Meowth. Meowth eventually does take me down. Pikachu down with, with some attacks. But next, I send out Butterfree to confusion it, and last up start coughing, which goes down to a confusion as well. Alright, time to fight Gary again. He's off a of Spearow. Pikachu Thundershocks it and one shots it. Next up, Sandshrew. I switch out to Butterfree to just to put it to sleep to start confusing it. So I really had nothing for ground types yet. I keep confusing it, and I eventually take it out. Next up is his Rattata. I decided to, decided to stay in, use Confusion on it to take it out. Last up is his Eevee. I sent out Pidgeotto, and did a few gusts on it to take it out his Eevee. Uh, next up, I got Charmander from this guy, because Charmander was weak. Ah, uh, good old Charlie. Alright, time to fight Misty now. She's off a of Staryu. I lead off a of Pikachu. Thundershock to sh Thundershock to scatter Staryu eventually. Next up is her Star Me. And same thing beheld it. I just I just thundershocked it a bunch after I, after I thunderwaved it to paralyze it. But it eventually takes out Pikachu, so I have to use Pidgeotto to take it out after I accidentally send out Butterfree. <laughs> Alright, next up, I get a Bulbasaur from this bitch since Pikachu finally likes me enough. Alright, time to fight Gary on the SSN. He's off of Spearow. Thundershock one shots to Spearow. Next up for Tata. Same thing happened to it to Tata. Sandshrew, I sent out Bulbasaur and, and a Raised Leaf did it in. If you're wondering why Pokemon level 27, I grinded up for Surge and I forgot about this battle fight. <laughs> Last up's Eevee and Razor Leafs took it out. Next up is Surge, is I sent out Pikachu just to try to simulate the fight. I paralyze it, then I start body slamming it, but it took me out with a Mega Punch and Thunderbolt. Next up, I sent out Bulbasaur to Leech Seed it, then I start Razor Leaf in it. And I, and I eventually take it out with Bulbasaur's Razor Leaf. Alright, after being Surge, I got Squirrel from Officer Jenny. To be fair, if I wanted to do this, I should've just done it in Ash Gravers, and that would've been way easier. Whatever. Next up, I release Butterfree, since Butterfree wanted to get some pussy. Understandable. Fam didn't get home for some pussy, but whatever. Next up is Gary again, he's off with Fear Rally, off Pikachu, Thunderbolt Shock one shots it. Thunderbolt, now I meant, sorry. Magnemite is taken down by a few embers. I use Charmeleon, even though Magnemite's not a steel type yet, just because I know nothing for it. Shoulder and Sandshrew both can kill my Bulbasaur pretty easily. Last up is Eevee, I use Squirtle to take it out. And so and so. Oh, he's Pidgeotto to take it out. Squirrel Hunter died, sorry. <laughs> Next up is uh, Team Rocket again. They let coughing, got taken out by a few embers. Next, same thing with Meowth, and same thing with Ekans. Team Rocket really was blasting off again. Alright, next up, I ha we have Giovanni. Water Gun one shots his Onyx, same thing with his Rhyhorn. And last up is Kangaskhan. I had nothing for Kangaskhan, so I had to wait for a second if I sent out. Oh, this is Persian. I really should write a script. My god. Two Thunderbolts did his Persian in. Alright, next up is Erica, and well, Charmeleon obeys me, unlike Ash Charmeleon did. I really should have played Ash Grape for more realism, but whatever. I was able to Ember sweep her and I was able to Ember her first two Pokemon, and ironically, I burn her Gloom. Since the anime, Ash takes Gloom from fire, but I use Squirtle, take it out with an Ice Beam. Alright, time to fight Team Rocket, Jesse and James again. I use Fly on their Meow to take it out. Next up is their Arbok. I used a couple Thunderbolts on it. Then last up is their Weezing, which I also used Thunderbolts on it. They actually almost take out Pikachu. So yeah, all I had to do was just gang up on Pikachu, it would have been fine. Alright, time to fight Gary again. I use Razor Leaf on Sand Slash and Cloyce. Durr. Next up is their. Uh, Magneton, which I just used a bunch of flamethrowers on, stupidly. And Flareon went down to a few high. I used Water Gun on Squirtle, but Flareon. But Flareon is a bitch. So I just sent out Pikachu to. I just sent out Pidgeotto to finish it off. Alright, time to fight uh, Justine and James again. Like all the other fights, Pikachu just dominated them. Yeah, it's, they're in, they're in as a joke. They're not that threatening, honestly. Alright, but let's do more of a threat now. Let's do Giovanni. And Giovanni is off in Nidorino. I send out, out Pidgeotto, because I actually love it. I didn't... I love like Bulbasaur. <laughs> and I took it out with a few wing attacks. Next up is his Persian. I stayed in and just kept wing attacking it. Until Pidgeotto, which took it out. Next up is Rhyhorn. 
Mm. I send out Bulbasaur to water gun it. And that glass of Nita Queen, which she took, got taken out by a couple thunders. Alright. Time to fight Koga, and, was bit, and I use Pidgeotto's wing attack to sweep through most of his Pokemon, but I got Toxic Poison. But the thing is, you don't take damage from Toxic on the turn on the turn you knock it out. But I eventually did fall because uh, Vano now was able to stall Pidgeotto out. So Pidgeotto eventually did faint. Then I sent out then I sent out Squirtle after Pidgeotto went down to uh, take it out this take it out with this uh, Surf. I missed my first one. That's a psychic me, but I eventually did take it out. All right, next up is Blaine, and yes, I forgot about Sabrina. I actually went to Giovanni's gym, and I Hydro Pumped his Nine Tails, Rapidash I meant, and then I took out his Rapid the Rapid Pidgeotto, and last up is Arcanine. He used Charizard Slash to take it out. All right, here's Sabrina. And Sabrina has a whip, and she was honestly a besides her Alakazam, it was a fly sweep. But when I got to her Alakazam, it ironically stalled me. I say ironically because Alakazam is not known for its stalling capabilities. So I, I bet you do take it out. So I had to send out Charizard to take it out the Critical Slash after I set up a Reflex. Alright, now time to fight Giovanni. He'll lead off with Bulbasaur to one shot or just a trio with Surf. Next up is Persian, which I use Charizard Slash to take it out. Then next up is Nidoqueen, which it, I live on one speak of a Thunder, but then it takes me out another Thunder as I hit it with Hydro Pump. I send out Pidgeotto to finish it off. Then I, then I next up is Nidoking. I use Flamethrower on it as it hits Charizard with a Thunder, but it doesn't take it out. Then I send out Bulbasaur to finish it, at, finish it off. Now Giovanni. All right, final rival fight after before the uh, Elite Four. Hydro Pump one shots his Sand Slash. Next up is Execute, which I send out Pidgeotto to take it out with a few wing attacks. And then next up is his Cloister. After that, I, with, and I use Pikachu on Thunderbolt to take it out. Then after that, he has his Magneton, which I send out Bulbasaur because I like decided nothing for Magneton. I eventually take it out with a bunch of his leaves after a Solar Beam. Next up is Kadabra. After that, it's Kadabra. I send out Charizard to one-shot it with a Slash. And last up is Flareon, which I take it out with a Hydro Pump. So, yeah. As you can see, Blue's getting a bit more and more annoying and a lot harder of a fight. But we won it. But we won the end. Alright, time for the 4. I have I trained them all up to the mid-60s, because that's where Blue is, and they're also most of our unevolved. And Lorelei, I think that's her name, was a, was a sweep with Thunderbolt besides her Jinx, which I used Charizard to Flamethrower to take it out. Yeah. The Elite Four in this game isn't that scary, especially if you actually use Pikachu. Well, Lorelei isn't anyway. <laughs> Next up is Bruno, and I lead off with Bulbasaur to take out his Onyx, then I send out Pidgeotto. I keep it as Pidgeotto because technically Pidgeot didn't evolve until after Ash competed in the league in the anime. And you know, to be fair, probably more accurate, I could have got a Tauros and a, or a Muk, but nah. And I'm not confident over Bruno because Bruno was pretty easy. Even his Machamp fell to a few flies. Alright, time for Agatha. I lead off with Pidgeotto. And if you ever thought the AI in this game was bad, it is pretty bad. So here, she has to her Haunter. Her other two went down pretty easily. And while Haunter tried to use Dream Eater on me twice while I wasn't asleep, I accidentally used <laughs> Agility though. Yeah, and her Arbok and Gengar went down pretty easily because they're low defense. Alright, Lance sends out Gyarados. I send out Pikachu. Thunderbolt. Next up is his Aerodactyl. I use. Oh, Dragon Air, man. Sorry, I, I used a couple. I, I Ice Beam both his Dragon Airs. Now is his Aerodactyl, you surf, but he takes me out with the critical wing attack. Send out Pikachu to finish off Aerodactyl. Next last up Dragonite, he takes out Pikachu with the critical hyper beam. And then I use Bulbasaur to try to poison it. And it goes down, then I send out Charizard, and Charizard eventually beat Dragonite with a few slashes. Alright, Gary Champion time. Squirtle took out Sand Shots with a Surf, next up Alkazam. I slashed it down, but I didn't take it out. Alexander re recovered. Next up is Executor, Flamethrower one shots it. Next up is Magneton, send out Bulbasaur, because like, once again, I have nothing for it. I eventually take it out with a few Razor Leafs. Next up's Cloyster, I take that out with the Razor Leaf. And last up's Flareon, which I take out with the Critical Hy the Hydro Ball. And that was Pokemon Yo with Ash's team. That was interesting to say the least. Hope you all enjoyed, and yes, this challenge took me 76 hours. Not the worst kind I've ever did. Hope you all enjoyed, and see you all next time. Elite challenges just below. See ya.